and we're back with some medieval dynasty. Uh, the reason we've got this one is it was a special request. I'll, I'll explain more about that some other time. But for now, let's get started on this game. Uh, I've gone through the intro already and it's uh, pretty much your generic usual stuff. You are a farmhand or your uh, farmer's son or something working on a farm. I used to have a simple life. Yeah, the usual. Whatever needed doing bandits, around the farm, raiders. I'd do it. <laughs> yeah, people die. You have to run away. So basically you're running, you ran away from your home, your family's all dead and you're running to another village where your uncle's supposed to be. It's really far away. It took you a while to walk there, like several days. So, you know, like it's probably 60 kilometers away or something. It was really hard to travel back in those times. Right. We have to go find this uncle of ours. Uh, okay. I've discovered an animal spot deer and something else. Exclamation mark. New quest. Starting a new life. Right, there's an exclamation mark there at the top of the screen that rotates when we rotate as well, and we've got a compass that gives us our way north. And considering it says on the right-hand side, starting a new life, talk to Casti Castellan? Yeah, I'm probably mangling that, but whatever. we got to go talk to this guy. Shift is sprint. Yeah, control is crouch. Oh, we can punch stuff. Always good. Uh, oh, right-click brings up our block. Okay, let's go to town and have a chat with uh, this Castellan guy. Oh, bottom left I can see food, blood, stamina, uh, probably health and food, yeah, whatever. Down here somewhere, I think. Yep. I'm going to try turning off view bob. Ah, there we go. Just some people get a little bit nauseous with the head bobbing, so I think we'll turn that off. Camera shakes? Eh, we'll leave that on for now. Uh, see if that makes a bit of a difference. Yeah, that feels far less like we're bobbing around like our head's on a stick. How you doing, Missy? Uh, what are you doing over here? Can I steal your grain? Uh, how about this rope? Nope. How about... Ooh. Why would I rob it if it's empty? An empty chest... To point robbing an empty chest. Might get caught robbing nothing. Hey, where is this guy? Okay, how about you two? Exclamation mark guy is... That way... I assume he's on the main lane. No. Huh. You must be. We got. We were looking for Kata, whatever. Uh, that's. Are you all right? You look like you've seen a ghost, or that's funny. My grandmother used to describe me the same way. All right. Let's uh, alternate between the first one and the second one. So number one. Uh. Yeah, you're, you just look like him. Oh, I take it you're related to what? My father or something? Sorry, you must have mistaken me with someone. I'm new to these parts. Just arrived at the valley, actually. My name is Ris Rismir? Rasimir? Uh, Wanda's son, aren't you? Lord Dan's nephew. What? Why did you... How did you know my mother? I don't think you understand. Oh, never mind. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Uh, they died as I could live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. We don't mind. Uh, what's, what do you want us to actually do? Your Uncle Lord is longer because he passed this away three years ago. I'm saying, okay, so the guy we ran to meet is dead. So we're on our own, basically. Uh, okay. Valley is filled with warm-hearted people who can gladly aid you with whatever you need, and I'm one of them. Okay, so what should I do now? You are free to go where you are like in certain life. I hereby grant you permission of the Castel Castellan to build and farm on any unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. Ooh, excellent. It's like Rimworld with first person and probably less violent. Well, I'm, I'm not considering I'm hoping, but I'm just th theorizing here. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Just like that, I can take land free of charge. Huh. Well, you have to pay taxes. Ah, there it is. Uh, to the king annually. But apart from that, you are free to do as you please as long as you don't break the law, of course. Or at least if you don't get caught doing so. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay. Uh, perfect. I'm glad to hear that you can find resources over, all over the land. Grab a few rocks and sticks from the ground and craft yourself a simple axe. With these, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. Then you can create a wooden hammer that will be crucial in the building process. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. When you build yourself a home, come back to Gostinia and talk to my wife, De Brosbogina. She manages the tavern. Ask her to feed you. You must be famished. Wait, 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 wait. You want me to build a house first and then come back and get food? I mean, I'm... Okay, house building must be really quick if, like, he's not worried about me getting hungry in between starting and finishing a house. And building codes here must be very lax. And then grab some beers for both of us and come back. I'll tell you some stories about Lorden. Right. E to collect the resources from the wild. 
Okie dokie then. Shall do. Tab to go to knowledge. Escape to close. Okay, so this is knowledge. We can collect correct stuff from the wild. Will do. Okay, we have to collect ten sticks and two stones according to that thing up in the top right. And I have to figure out where I want to do that from. It looks like a river over there. Which area around here is flatter? I've been wandering around looking for some nice flat land to build on, and uh, I sort of stumbled across this area here. It appears to be a logging encampment. Uh, yoink, I believe is... Ooh, mead. Oh, and logs. That's, um... Who are you? Abandoned supplies. Well, it's booze. So, like, yes, we shall accept. Okay, whatever. We, we, we've got all of that stuff. Ooh, more abandoned supplies. Uh, how do we take them all? Damn it, is there just some way to get control? Nope. F. It's the F key. Okay, fine. Well then, um, uh, we now have an axe. That made things a lot simpler. Let's grab you. You got ten sticks. Now we just need a couple of stones. Thank you kindly. I'm thinking this place is probably where we should be setting up. If they've got a, a wooden camp here waiting for you to set up. And there's lots of flat land here. Reasonably flat. There is a little bit of a slope there. Hmm. Let me have a quick gander around. But I think it's somewhere around here is where we're going to be starting our little house. Perfect. The problem with the other site was there was lots of boulders on it. And I'm not sure how we removed the boulders. But here it looks like there's not a lot of trees or boulders or anything. Nice flat open terrain. Let's grab ourselves some a wooden hammer, cut down some trees, and grab ourselves some straw. Oh, yeah, I found this stuff down here as well, which I grabbed a bunch of reeds. Yeah, I think we're going to need this at some point, so... Yoink. Crafting-wise, it appears you just hold down the Q key, and then it brings up this. I think, was this designed for a controller? It seems like this is one of those controller interfaces. And we the game wants us to produce a wooden hammer, one log, ten sticks. Done. Takes ten... Right. Um, finished. How do we actually equip stuff? I for inventory, I presume? Yes, it is. What is that? That is a simple torch. Rightio. So, in slot one, we have an axe. Where is our hammer? Slot two, we will have a wooden hammer. Okay, so one axe. Tree cutting. Cut down a tree, you need to have an axe. The tool can be brought... Yeah, 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 chop it into smaller parts. Sure, sure, I should probably read that more, but you know what? Let's just go chop a tree. I'm sure we'll figure it out. We've, cho we've chopped enough trees in enough games to know what you do. You just walk up and hit the left mouse button. Yeah, well, at least we're not using our hands to do it. Ah, creation menu lets you create a wide variety of items and buildings. Okay. That's uh, good to know. I'm sure we'll figure it out. <laughs> Okay, um, so we'll just take a quick nap. Right, uh, don't get caught under trees. That is what I've just learned. Okay, logs. That gives us logs? Hmm. Let's go find a few more trees to chop down. Timber! And it didn't destroy the fence? Whoever made that fence is, well, it's pretty sturdy. Okay, we got logs. Great. Uh, I can also see that our axe seems to be degrading. Overloaded. You're carrying too much on your shoulders. If you walk slowly, you can carry more. Get a backpack or a pouch. Remember that you can turn off the tutorials and the settings. Gotcha. And uh, what are you, log? Great. We will cut one more tree. Uh, we may be overloaded. That's probably going to reduce our stamina and stuff, but I'm not going to care too much just yet. Uh, do you want to fall? Anytime soon? No? Uh, done. Okay, so it magically turns into logs once you smash it up enough. Uh, log, yep. Are you a log? Grand. Right, build your first house. Okay, uh, we'll build it over here by the crossroads. Why not? Gets us nice and close to the road, there's some signposts there, uh, lots of foot traffic. Hmm. Right here. Now I gotta figure out how to do it. Buildings, excellent. Uh, farming. No, 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 no. We want a house. Houses. Oh. It's not actually a... What's that animal in the background? You know what? We'll, we'll deal with that later. Simple house. Simple small house. Uh, house. Not enough technology. 
Uh, so simple small house is easier than simple house. Oh, they're locked as well. So we need to get ourselves the technology to unlock those. Simple small house. Right. Okay, I thought I was going to be building chunks of this, so no. Eh. Uh, what just happened? Ah, okay, you can see there is... Little stumps left. Now I just have to figure out how I use these stumps to build a house. Hammer? Yes! Select build mode. The building hammer can be used in three different ways. It enables you to build structures, repair them, or destroy unwanted ones. The mode selected through the select build menu mode will unlock while holding the hammer. Remember that you can turn off to toilet. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so we need... Ten stones. We, we don't have the stones, do we, to build this foundation? Oh, well, that's a problem. But why didn't the game tell me I was supposed to get that many stones first? Fine, I'll go grab all your stones. Moving very slowly because we're totally overburdened. Can we drop some stuff? Huh, we can drop huh. stacks of stuff. So, that that's going to keep rolling, isn't it? Stop, stop rolling. Fine, we'll find some place where you won't roll so badly. How about that fence over there? That fence looks like it could stop stuff from rolling. You, uh, give us a log. We will just drop one. Just, just one. And let's see how far you roll. I just don't want these things rolling away and I have to chop them all down again. Oh no, that works. Fine. In that case, we can free up some space by X to drop stack. Uh, perfect. That's 11 logs. Wow. Okay then. So now we can move much faster. Let's go grab ourselves enough stones. Okay, foundations. Uh, we definitely have enough rocks for you now. Ah, uh, the amazing thing of using a hammer to just build giant structures. Perfect, what do you need? Eight logs. We got you covered. Give me. Give me. Are we overburdened? I think we're overburdened. Come on, let me grab it anyway. Okay, small house. I think we're actually going to be back in time for that mirror. That needs logs and sticks and... Okay, then. This seems pretty handy. Uh, did we just put together the door? Can we open that door, maybe, or... Oh, seriously? Oh, you just walk into it. Never mind. I was looking for an actual open button. All right. Then we just smack it together from the inside. Soon we'll have a fully constructed house. I mean, will it be up to building code? For the medieval times? Sure. Huh. Looks like our water levels are getting low. You will start to lose health. Which one's water again? Blue bar on the right. Okay, so if water gets low, we run into problems. Not going to worry about it too much at the moment. Let's go get the last of this house built. I think we're pretty close. Oops. It looks like you've just broken your first tool and certain not the last one. You can craft most basic tools by hand, but they're cheap and fragile. It's wiser to focus on producing and using metal tools with higher durability. This is reminding me of Raft. Just, you know, without a Raft. If you have identical tools in reserve, you will immediately grab it after the one, one it breaks. Remember, you can turn off the tutorials in the settings. What about if I punch the tree, no? Oh, fine, fine, fine. I'll come back with an axe. As we put this together, we've also unlocked the well, which I presume is good. That would be... Oh, that's a water source. If you don't build near a river. Uh, maybe building by the river wasn't such a good idea. You know what, let's go down, grab ourselves a drink. Get ourselves a little bit of salmonella or whatever goes around in water. No, dysentery. That's what you get from water supplies. Assuming you have a friendly upstairs, up river neighbors. Okay, water, drink. Sure. Blue bear. Next out. Great. Delicious. Uh, now, let's find ourselves a few more sticks. Takes a lot of sticks to build a house, it seems. Okay, finally. Oh, yeah. We gotta do the roof, don't we? Seriously? Okay, we need one log for the roof. I thought I had logs. Seriously? Ugh. All right, I'm back with your logs. Now, come on. Give it to me. What? How do we get the rest of the roof up? Right. I feel like we should have some sort of ladders for doing this, but hey, as long as it works. Uh, straw roof. Oh, God. This is going to take another few minutes. Let me skip forward. So this will be the last chunk of the house. And finished. Oh. is to assist you in the initial stages of your new settlement construction. Completing chapters allows you to unlock the next development stage, which determines the maximum number of... the maximum limit of buildings you can construct. Okay, then. Uh, you now have to set traps for rabbits and things, and... Ooh, we got a chest. Ooh, we can store stuff in there. We have a cauldron to cook things in, and we have a double bed to sleep in. Hmm. 
Ooh. Let's see about getting food. Actually, we want to sleep till morning because we could take a little bit of a beating. Let's eat that. That actually helps. And let's sleep till morning. Uh, where is it? Sleep till next day. Sleep till next season. No, we do not want to sleep till next season just yet. We'll just sleep till the next day. We'll worry about autumn, winter, and all that other stuff later. Perfect. Yeah, how's your health looking? An awful lot better. Right, it's a lovely day. Let's go city rabbit trap. Oh, and we'll talk to your man in a minute and get a beer. But first, I want to make a rabbit trap, a wooden spear, a stone knife, hunt a wild animal, and survive for a season. That seems like a, a lot of things to do. You know what? Maybe we'll get that beer first. I have just been going through the menu system here, and it is... It's extensive. Like, if we go under buildings, there's a whole set under survival, all of which are locked. So, if you want a hunting lodge, fishing hut, all sorts of stuff. We've got a whole farming section, uh, animal husbandry, production... Like, there is just ridiculous amounts of stuff in here. Uh, what we were looking for, though, was... Furniture decorations, traps. Rabbit trap? Yeah, rabbit trap. Resources, ten sticks. Okay, so let's chuck one of these together near the house. That way we have some food. Can we rotate this and do things with it? Uh, yes, we can. Makes absolutely no difference. Though. Right, let's chuck one down. Uh, cool. Wooden spear, next up. Fine, we shall make one of those as well. That seems pretty handy so far. We'll make you number three. Then next up, we're going to want a stone knife. Come on, can't be that hard. I take it this is just getting us ready for everything. Stone knife, yet we can craft one of those pretty handily too. Oh, that's probably going to be for gutting the animals and things. I see where they're going with this. There seems to be a whole, like, survival element to it, and they call it Dynasty. I think you're supposed to do several generations, like you raise kids. You have to seduce someone, raise kids, and then the kid takes over from you when you die. Uh, where was the next step? So, hunt a wild animal, was it? Well, there's one right there. It's a birdie. Hey, come back here! Oh, yeah, they fly away, don't they? Okay, so we need something that is on land that we can stab with a pointy stick that we can run faster than. It's not a lot of those things. I mean, humans are good endurance runners and all that, but uh, I don't think it's really going to work very well in uh, when it comes to something like a deer. Shh. Oh, we be we quiet. It's wabbit hunting season. Is that a fox? You make weird noises. Okay. Eat the skin. That's it. Yep, knew it. Stone knife is for it. That's actually a pretty photorealistic looking fox right there. Um, cool. So, we got meat. And we didn't even take any scratches there as far as I can tell. And this guy killed something over here. He killed a rabbit. And I want to see where it was. Damn it, I lost track of it. There we go. Rabbit. Yoink. I hope there's a way to skip these animations later. This seems like it would get very time-consuming, or hopefully we can hire other Muppets to take over the job. All right, let's go have a chat with this guy. We've got some fresh meat, and uh, we can cook up some, I don't know, what do you call them, fox steaks? I mean, I, I don't think you'd make a steak out of foxes. It just doesn't seem very right. Ooh. That thing looks incredibly dangerous. Possibly fatal. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Okay. Uh, oh, wow, that's not good. Come here, buddy. We're going to punch a board to death today because that's our plan. Come here. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I got an axe here. Oh, I got a cutting knife too, don't I? You don't. And after all of that punching we had to do. That's right. We don't need no stinking spears. Well, you're carrying too much weight. I suppose it is an entire boar that is a tiny scooch of a problem. Uh, let's just dump some logs. We can get more logs. Hmm. Nope. I, I'm not... 
killing and gutting another fox. It's just not worth the effort. It seriously is not worth... Wait, did he just vanish? Huh. Yeah, I'm thinking this game is not as uh, polished. Oh, there he goes. No. Damn it, why didn't it automatically put my spear back in the same place as before? That would be a nice quality of life feature. I should probably check that out. Just the spear, when I remade it, didn't go back to the same slot I put my spear in before. There might be a way to lock that down, like you can do in Factorio and things like that, though. So, if you'll notice in the bottom left of there, there's a sort of a weird symbol that looks like we kind of stink. I think we need to wash. I remember something vaguely about this in one of the instructions they told us about. Uh, this is it. Yeah, well, we can drink anyway. It's fine, but can we actually bathe? Ah, it's gone away, see? So we stepped in the water, now we no longer stink like a bum. Right, now we can go to town. All right, this must be the tavern wench way, what lady. Uh, what can I help you with? Yeah, nice to meet you, Rissimir. What brings you here? Ah, you can also tell me you can fix me up with some food. I haven't eaten a proper meal in weeks. <laughs> Hunger, thirst, and... No, I don't want you to do it. Uh, but I can offer you something warm and filling. That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, tell me something. How do you know my husband? Yeah, whatever. I remember now hearing he has eyes just like this. yours. I'm sorry for your loss. Lots of people died when I heard there was something special about him. Yeah, tough shoes to fill, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, who cares? Food. Food me. What, what do you want? Hey, buddy. Private conversation. Like, all right. Take out your earphones. Okay, he's just rocking out. Yeah, she just, just, just seemed bothered by this. This has happened a lot. Whatever, yep, 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 whatever. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, oh, damn it, I just agreed to something, didn't I? Hey! And now she gets annoyed? Okay, deliver to something, oat ale by two. Okay, will do. Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, no, you better not do this too. Yes, 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 well, we've went and built an entire freaking house in a day. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he was a thief. We don't care. Stealing is still a crime, no matter the motivation. I'm sorry. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever happened. Hey, how do I, like, do stuff? Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about any of this. I just want to build a village. Stop talking to me. Right, that's all done. We have to survive for a season and wait for the next day for the end of that story. I'm going to go set up some traps and start killing some stuff because that seems like a good way to do things. Actually, what's the map? All right, so there's a rabbit trap. Ah, the map keeps tra the map keeps track of where you leave your traps and things. That's actually useful to know. How do I preserve meat? That might be a little bit tricky though, because I'm pretty sure that meat is going to be gone off by tomorrow or the day after. How do we have porridge? Salted meat, simple linen shirt, simple shoes. Huh. So I figured out how to cook meat. All you do is you put down a campfire. Uh, the campfire is located under furniture and decorations. Yeah, that. Took me a while. And then in here you can find campfires. You just need a bunch of sticks. And we should be able to light it up. Oop. Perfect. And then we can craft by just tapping E. If you hit it, it doesn't work. That also got me for a while. Now we can roast one piece of meat at a time if we want. Though this is, um, this is pretty slow. Or instead you can hit R to craft more. And then just select as many as you want. Which will be... What's, ah, E gives you everything? Right. E, F. Got it. And then we'll just sit here and we're gonna do up a lot of meat. Like, just so much cooking. Then I think we'll sell it. There's no point keeping it. I'm not sure how long it lasts. Without salt, maybe salt will last for seasons, but I don't think fried roasted meat is going to last a whole season for us. After a little bit of frying up, I followed that thing at the top of the map that shows the money bags, which brought me to Don Bring... Shopkeep Lady. Do? How do you do, too? Uh, show me your wares. And we could romance her as well. Could you move a little? Huh. Uh, in the wares, we can sell some of our dried meat for a price of four, which actually seems fairly okay-ish. Uh, there's also a bunch of other stuff we've got here, but I think the first thing we'll do... How are you? ...is maybe top up our food meter before we give away the food we don't want anymore. Uh, F to eat. Yep. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit more, and yeah, done. Then we'll sell I the rest like of this lady. you. My wares never disappoint. Uh, yeah, no, not the dried meat. Roast, damn it. I ate the dried meat, didn't answer the roasted meat. Oh, well, we'll just sell this stuff to her. Uh, sell. Yep. 
Okay. Yes. Done. So that's 132 coins. Cool. I should probably get rid of some other stuff. If there's a little circle in it, that appears to be stuff you're wearing or wielding. Uh, unripe berries. Yeah, I, I don't want those, do I? You know what? Let's let's get rid of some junk while we're here, just because we can. Anyway, thank How you for I everything. You? I'm going to have a quick look around this village. There's got to be other shops we can buy from. Ooh, and who are you? I think these are potential villagers we can recruit. Yeah, the ones that have those symbols above their heads. So, you look to be good at diplomacy, which we don't care about. You look to be good at farming. Oh, and diplomacy. So, that might be actually very useful to us. And you are good at mining and farming. Oh, and holding down the left alt button is what allows you to do that. And it drains stamina doing it for some reason. Anyway, we don't even have a house to put them in yet. So, we've got to build them a house and then we can start recruiting additional villagers from that location. And let me go find someone else. See if there's someone who can sell tools or something like that. Right, so this is where you come to get all your seeds and things. Got it. And you sell your garden hose Thank and you, all that junk. Perfect. Good to know. Over here, we seem to have the baker. Yeah, they make lots of bread and stuff. Have a so, good day. Yeah, we could romance her, but no, no, much as I like some baked goods. Okay, then we got a guy over here. What I'm really looking for is some sort of blacksmith, which you are definitely nice not. To meet you. Whatever you need. I've got it. Milk, soured milk, manure, animal feed, See got you, it. But you can't buy cows off him. Hey! I have been unable to locate a blacksmith. Uh, what is this? That's a well. We have the blueprints to build one of those. I think we'll go back and we'll build ourselves a farm, a house, maybe some sort of hunter's hut. we got to start prepping for, well, recruiting people. I'm beginning to regret how far away this village is. Maybe I should have built it a little bit closer so it wouldn't have to... Oh, that's a fire hazard. Hopefully they'll be gone by tomorrow. On our way home, we appear to have acquired a rabbit. Uh, we shall collect it. Okay, and that rearms the rabbit trap. Rabbit trap's at 63%. Right, so we get about two uses out of it and then it falls apart. And we should have a skill system of some sort. Skills, yes. The more you do something, the better you get at it. So we got hunting skill points and things. Tracker? No. Predator. Careful hunter. Experienced hunter. Actually, where's trading? Diplomacy barter. There we go. That's what I'd be interested in. 10% better at selling and buying. That's going to come in handy. That always does. Uh, survival knowledge? Hmm. It's iron liver. 25% higher poison resistance. Hmm. You know what? Gonna worry about all of that. Ooh, extraction knowledge. We actually have a point to spend. In survival? Insensitive. What the hell is insensitive? Does that just mean you get more temperature tolerance? Iron liver. Oh, strong as an oak. Next health. 10% more health survivalist. Slower loss of food and water. I like that would be helpful long term. Solid as a rock. 10% less damage received. So basically tough. Excellent. Loving the look of that tree. We'll worry about it later. For now, I want to see what other buildings we can put down around here so we can start turning this place into less of crazy old loner guy and... Uh, See, wait, this character's meant to be 18, right? So, crazy loner guy out in the middle of nowhere versus, uh, you know, crazy loner people. Or less loner and just people. I'm uh, building us a second house so that we can support another colonist soon. But I think it's time we maybe grabbed, went down, had a little bit of a wash, and maybe drank some water. Is that a duck? Never mind, it's flown away. It's fine. But I do want to come back and kill that duck at some point. In fact, I want to kill all the wildlife. There's so much wildlife on this map, and... I just feel like there's an awful lot of killing we could be doing right now and harvesting a whole bunch of animals for money. When building this house, what I'd learned is you can edit the house when you're building it, so you can change what the walls are made out of. So originally we were going with sticks, you can use wooden walls, or you can use stone. Stone is just easier than logs in general. I, we just basically picked them up off the ground, so I'm going with stone walls. And I think they're better walls as well, so why not? I just have to pick up some rocks off the ground and we just chuck this up. It did require a few logs as well, but it seemed to be less. In fact, let me try and edit it up here to show you. Big under walls, you see, this one is one log and eight sticks. This one is one log and eight stones. So for the difference between sticks and stones, yes. Oh, I gotta go grab some more stones now, don't I? As we harvest stuff, it seems to unlock more buildings, so we've just gained access to the hunting lodge, which I am quite interested in. For now, we're going to touch up this house. There are multiple ways to put a roof on this, but it seems the other ones revolve around planks, and I have no idea how to make planks. So we could make a wooden roof, but that requires six planks. 
a wooden tiled roof requires 12 planks, we can only do straw. So until we get our hands on, well, improved roofing technology, everyone's going to be stuck with a thatched roof. But I'm okay with that. And that is house number two completed. And new building unlocked, woodshed one. Can we actually upgrade this now? Huh, E to decorate. Wall, current decoration empty. Window, current decoration empty. What is this? Nope, no decorations. I don't think we can upgrade it. I really wish we could, though. That would be cool. Ooh, it's a badger. Those things are vicious in real life. Let's see what they're like in the game. I'm presuming they're also vicious. Come here. Damn it. Wow, these things are vicious. I had, I had less trouble with the freaking bear. Or with the... Ooh, not the bear, the boar. Well, remind me not to mess with badgers anymore. Those things are absolutely annoying as all hell. Either that or hold that until we got some ranged weaponry, maybe. And we've broken our stone knife. Well, great. I'll make another one. Well, there's old friendly over there. Let's see about picking a fight. Now, let's throw this right into your face, if at all possible. Wow, that was a... Um... Nope. Nope, nope. That that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Yeah, we'll just make ourselves another spear. <laughs> Perfect. I could have sworn I had two spears. I must have broken the first one. Yep, definitely broke the first one. In that case, let's make ourselves another spear. And then let's make ourselves another spear after that. I'm thinking having three spears on hand would, nope, would not be a bad idea. Eh, last one went a little bit... Oop. I'm gonna throw one. Last one was a little bit to the right of him, so let's throw right about there. Oh my god, got him right in the face. Come on, buddy. That huh. That was actually rather sick. And we can pick up the spears. Yes, we'll grab you. Why can't I take that? Perfect. All right, what is left? Ooh, there's the other one. And then we gotta chop him up. This is actually super handy. I mean, he's worth an awful lot of meat and hides and all sorts of stuff, so... Yes, please? But can we craft any of the stuff he's given us into something nice? We can make a leather bag out of the leather. So, yes? Have to see how much that's worth, but we'll probably turn the leather into something we can sell, and we'll keep an eye out for any more animals to stab on the way home. Oh, there's some big ones over there. And the question is, will they run? I mean, okay, in real life they would run. Ooh. Yeah, they look incredibly dangerous. Let's see. So, right about... <laughs> uh, we managed to wing him just a little bit. He's definitely bleeding. Now we just gotta get closer to him. Come on, stay still. Yeah, stay still, stay still, stay still. Damn it. Totally whiffed it. Yeah, I'm losing track of them now. They're mixed in with each other, and I think that's the wounded one, but... Honestly, I could just be wasting spears at this point. Yeah, I'm out of here. I much prefer dealing with the boar thingies. They were much easier to stab, far less likely to hurt you. Yep, boars way over, even badgers. Badgers were a pain in the butt, but at least they came right at you. So, I believe our quest is to talk to you, and you're going to tell us some stuff that we're going to skip. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Valley is shooting me nicely so far. Yeah, 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 yeah. My blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure what you're gonna... There's been a murder. What? I didn't kill anyone. Seriously. I mean, not even off screen. I didn't... Like, pets and stuff, not even. Uh, great. I mean, just for cease, but... Did you say, no, no, oh my. Things like that don't happen here too often. Uh, because they don't. I'm just about to go to the crime scene and question the witnesses, and I honestly don't know what to expect. 
Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm sure you'll take good care of the matters. Time will tell. Yes. Even as we'll break. Okay, uh, there's really a serious matter. I won't be able to share more stories with you at the moment, but I believe there is someone you should meet. His name is Sem Sambor. He was one of us. The pack, I mean. Uh, I marked his, him on your map. You should pay him a visit, but beware. Calling him friendly is... Yeah, no, whatever. Who cares? Don't say I didn't warn you. Right. Okay, ah, then. You have returned. I hope to see you soon. Your voice does not match your face. You sound like Gandalf, but you look sort of like a... Oh, a much, much younger Gandalf. He hasn't smoked so much. All right, where is... Oh, my God. Who did he mark on my map and where? Samber seems to be way, way over there. I think I'm going to sell off some junk before I go and see how our money-making potential is. We do have to pay taxes at the end of the year, and I have no idea how much those taxes are going to cost. So let's find a merchant and sell off some of our leather bags and meats and all that stuff. Ah, a simple bag is worth seven, leather is worth four. See you soon. How much did it actually cost us to make that? Ah, one leather. All right, so working the leather gives us a, well, three extra coins per action. That is actually worth the effort then. Turns out we can swim. Useful. All right, so as far as I can tell, we can build a we can build a settlement. We can get people into it. We can craft a bunch of stuff. We can go up a tech tree to get more and more crafting things. I uh, bet we're going to be getting metal tools at some point, and oh, and we get to cook stuff and craft things. Yeah, I think I kind of get an er a feeling as to what this game is all about. Excuse me while I go roast a whole bunch of meat. Yeah, that uh, or we caught earlier. Yeah, it needs to be cooked up. This could take a minute. I wonder if there's a faster way to do this. I did a quick detour along the way, and by detour I mean we felled a couple of trees and we turned them into wooden spears. We now have six of them. Ooh, there's a fox. Uh, too small. I would prefer something a little bit bigger. What are you? Fur. Yeah, we'll take you. Uh, there's a sec. Okay, these are loot spots, I'm coming to believe. A potion of health? Wait, there's magic in th Is that a bow? That is a bow. Yes. Large bundle, open, carrot seeds. Sure, I suppose we'll take you. Uh, all of you. So, uh, where's the arrows? Oh, stone arrow. Yeah, we'll take it. Any more stone arrows? Uh, how do we craft stone arrows? More. Best I can figure, we would need to make a hunting lodge so that we could make arrows. So for now, we're stuck with the five we currently have, which we'll keep. And we've got a spear and a bow and... Oh, there's a fox. Where did I put that bow? Okay, it's number eight. Oh, damn it, never mind. We distracted him. Hey, anyway, we're going to go along to this quest thing anyway, and if we run into anything along the way that needs shooting, we shall shoot. Ooh. What's that over there? I should really save this, shouldn't I? Uh, this is probably going to get a little violent. Right. Okay, let's do this. Left mouse button. Ah, never mind. My right mouse button. Left to aim. Heart is about there. Oof. That was a little bit too close. Uh... Ow! Where are you going? Oh, yeah. That hurt. Probably shouldn't have done it. Remind me not to do that anytime in the near future. Uh, yeah, let's skin this guy and be done with it. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to be overburdened after this too, aren't we? Yep, we are... Incredibly overburdened. Mm, damn it. So... Make a fire, I suppose? Maybe we can cook up the meat and it'll weigh less, or... Have a snack? We're just gonna stay here for a while and make leather bags. Turns out leather bags are a bit lighter than leather itself, so we can just turn all the leather bags into something, or all the leather into something slightly lighter. Hopefully enough for us to move. I'm also gonna dump our tools. I just realized we can... You effectively make tools out of stuff you find lying around the place, so who cares? There's no real worry because they're all wooden and stone. We're gonna dump 30, half of the meat. Half of the meat's gotta go because we're just too overburdened. 
Ooh, but we can we can move, but we're gonna move a bit slower, and let's maybe try and avoid running into any more of those uh, boar things or buffaloes, whatever. Though I would like to go hunting around here at some point. Once we get access to a steady supply of arrows, I think this would be an excellent hunting ground. Though I think I would prefer to be faster moving. Well, it looks like we're here, and this must be the guy who went full loner in the middle of nowhere before we got a chance to do it. Hmm. That water? Can we drink it? We're kind of thirsty, and it's a long way back. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I think you're lost, boy. Really? Because I'm in your house. Nice eye patch. Uh, sh sh Wait a second, look me in the eye and stop shivering for crying out loud. Huh, black and blue, you're Lordston's family, aren't you? Yeah, whatever. Uh, how do you know that? Part of what now? I've never heard this. Uh, yeah. You were called the, we were called the Undying Fist? Right. Okay, so they're all a bunch of nut jobs. Got it. So, why are we here again? So, basically, he's telling us a story, and to get the end of the story so that we can complete the quest, we have to go dig up some clay. Uh, I'd rob you, but you don't appear to have anything worth robbing. The ambience in this game is actually quite nice. Walking alone at night through the forest? It's... it's suitably creepy. Very nicely done. Gotta give it to the devs. Alright, we're ignoring that mission for the time being and just go going to the nearest town so I can offload all of this inventory. We have too much stuff and I can't be picking up any more right now, so let's make some money and then get on with our quests. I, I don't know what happened, but we just sort of disappeared and teleported back home. Temperature. Uh, if temperature is too high, we need to drink more water, blah blah blah. We have to dress in appropriate clothing. I'm going to assume what's happened is it just changed season. Yeah, and because it changed season, it teleported us back to the home base. Let's go sell off some of this junk we've acquired. We have way too much stuff on us right now. Finally, we get to sell most of this junk. Get rid of most of the meat. Uh, we'll keep one bag. Actually, you know what? I don't care. Get rid of all the bags. All right, now, the question is, we're starting to overheat in this weather, so should we buy better heat-resistant clothing? And where do you actually find those? Oh, you can get a water skin with water. We should probably get one of those at one point, just so that we can go further without having... Well, we don't have to be as close to water. We also need more arrows so that we can use our bow more regularly. We also need to be able to craft a bow. We basically need to do a whole bunch of stuff. I like the game. Hello. I just see the... Uh, uh, <laughs> I see the, the path ahead of us, and the path ahead of us is going to be crafting a lot of stuff. Now, I just got to figure out how to do that most efficiently. And uh, let's see, which one of you There's is good at hunting? Hypnotizing about that fire. None of you are that good. Well, level twos. We might grab one of those and turn them into a hunter for our place. What I really want to do is grab a hunter for food and grab someone who can do logging to grab us wood. And with the two of those equipped, we should be able to pretty much run the village with them. So this was Medieval Dynasty. I need to do an awful, awful, awful lot of research. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck. Thank you.